Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do a timeless reading going over a current situation. I have placed crystals on the cards for those of you who like to choose with crystals. This is pile number one with the feather fluorite. And this is pile number two with the moss agate. I will leave a link in the description box below so you can skip ahead to your pile. Let's get started. Welcome pile number one. If you chose this pile, you chose the beautiful Feathered Fluorite Crystal, and your card is the Five of Pentacles. We will now shuffle your tarot cards and then pull your oracle cards to get more information. Okay, pile number one, your first card is the Five of Pentacles. And I feel like somewhere in your world right now, you're feeling a lot of imbalance. This could be dealing with money in a career seeing as we have so many wands and so many pentacles in this reading. You could be feeling the lack of money. You could be overspending. You may be getting a new job that pays less money. In your blockage, you have the Six of Pentacles. So this is asking you to pay attention to where you're feeling this lack in your life. If this is in your job, if this is with your money, be careful where you're giving your time and your energy to. And seeing as this is a pentacle, this could be more than just your time and energy. This could also be you giving away too much material things, like you're being too generous with your money. 
And that is why you're feeling this lack with the Five of Pentacles. So this is asking that you pay attention to where you're spending the money, who you're giving the money to. Where are you putting out resources that is leaving you feeling like you're lacking? In your foundation, you have the temperance. All this feeling of lack, not being able to find this balance is making you seek balance. It's making you want to find a healthier alternative to where you're feeling lack at this time in your life. Again, this could be with a boss, a job. This could be you spending too much. Maybe you had a large expense that was unexpected. Whatever the case may be. Take a step back. Listen to that intuition and allow it to guide you to a solution here. In your recent past, you have this moon card. There may have been a time where you felt left in the dark. You were trying to listen to your intuition, but logic was getting in the way. This may also be something that you've been waiting on. You may have lost your job, and you're waiting for new opportunities to arise. And it's left you feeling in a state of lack. You even have here, talk to the moon, communicate. You need to seek out someone, whether this is a family member, a friend, if you're feeling confused, extra stressed out, whatever the case may be, this is telling you to open up about what has been weighing on you. The next card you get is Void Moon, Do Nothing. And this is in your challenging position, so if you're doing nothing to change the situation, the situation will not change. If you're needing support, you have moon circles here. You have support around you. You just need to open up, communicate, allow... others to give you the support that you're needing. What's coming towards you is the sun card. So I feel like you're not going to be stuck doing nothing for much longer. I feel like by you listening to your intuition taking the time to understand how you feel. The opportunities that you seek will be coming in for you. Whether this is you putting your resume out and getting a job offer, you saving money, understanding where you're being drained, and then focusing energy into changing that is going to bring about the opportunity for balance and happiness that you've been seeking. You 
in your near future, you have the Seven of Wands. So this is going to leave you knowing exactly where the issues lie. And this is going to allow you to put up those healthy boundaries to not overspend, to save, to not feel like you're obligated to help everyone that crosses your path. You're going to be setting these healthy boundaries and this is going to lead to this happiness that you seek. Inwardly, you have the Nine of Wands. And this has been making you feel like really tired, dragged down, almost wanting to give up. Now, if this is a boss that you're dealing with, or a job that's making you feel so drained, this void moon is telling you to put your resume out. Try to put in the effort to change teams or to switch buildings or departments or whatever the case may be to get away from this person. There are options and right after the nine of wands comes the ability with that ten of wands to pick up these wands again and keep moving forward. These burdens that you're feeling, this heaviness, is almost over. In your environment, you have a king of wands. This could be you. And this is you taking the lead and making a difference in your life setting those boundaries, making sure that you're not taking on more than you can handle. This could even be some of you leveling up at your current job, and this is going to help with this financial restraint that you've been feeling. For others, I feel like this is someone in your world. This could be someone who has been making you feel the slack. Whether this is a, a boss that micromanages you and you can't stand it anymore. A parent. A friend. Whatever the case may be for you. This could be someone in your world making you feel this lack. Feeling like you're left in the dark. Wondering what their true intentions are, or wondering where you fit in, in this big master plan here. And this is where you would be feeling the lack, especially if this is a relationship. And you're in this relationship with somebody who feels like they show you that they love you, and that they care about you, but they're not actually saying how they feel, and it's making you feel lack. In your hopes and fears, you have the hanged man. I feel like you're focused on coming out of this, seeing the other side of it, finding that balance, needing that understanding so that you can continue with either this relationship, with this job, whatever the case may be for you, you're wanting clarity in all of this. Even with this full moon in Pisces, balance, spirituality, and practicality. You are seeking that balance, that knowledge, the clarity to keep moving forward. And with your and with your new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take, 
This is you needing to give yourself time to understand how you feel, understand what is going on. Using that intuition, following those gut instincts. And loving yourself enough to give yourself the time it's going to take to find this balance. In your overall outcome, you have this Knight of Pentacles. You will be making progress. If this is a lack of money that you've been feeling, you will have more money coming in. You will be manifesting that new money. Whether that's a promotion, a raise, a new job, or even whatever has set you back. Getting that under control and the money being balanced out. This is going to take a bit of work on your part. Not just with listening to your intuition, but tackling the issue once you've come to the conclusion of what's making you feel lack. Setting those healthy boundaries and moving forward into this new time of change and these new opportunities. Things will be moving. Things will be changing. It's a slow and steady progress. You're going to need to practice patience right now. Not only with the situation, but with yourself while you gather the information that's needed. Moving forward. Thank you, pile number one, for sitting with me through this reading. If this reading resonated with you, or you like this style of reading, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting down below. Thank you, and have a beautiful day. Welcome pile number two. If you chose this pile, you chose the beautiful moss agate. And your card is the magician. We will now shuffle your tarot cards and then pull your oracle cards to get more information. Okay, pile number two, you have the magician in your overall position. And I feel like looking at all the cards here, there is an issue that you are dealing with that is making you feel stuck. 
almost like you have great ideas. There's something that you're trying to create, like a new opportunity. You may be trying to get a promotion, but in your blockage position with this King of Pentacles, I feel like this is the person that you are butting heads with. This could be a partner that you work with. This could be a boss. This could be someone that you're in a romantic relationship with. But you feel like this King of Pentacles is standing in your way from achieving what it is that you desire. Whether that is a promotion, starting your own business, creating something here. It's almost as if you're sharing ideas and you're having this conversation with this person and this person just keeps saying, no, no, I don't like that. I want things done my way or why don't we do it this way? And in your foundation, with this Ten of Swords, you're feeling cut off at the knees. You feel like nothing you say can change the situation. You're feeling like you're being blocked from what is your true calling or your true destiny here, especially with this Judgment card. You're feeling like there's a higher purpose here for you and this person is blocking you from achieving your goal. And you're ready to give up. You're ready to just throw in the towel and say, whatever happens, happens. I'm tired of trying. And in your recent past, with this Two of Pentacles here, things were not this stressful in a previous time, whether this was last year, a few months ago, when another boss was in power, when you were on a different job, whatever it was, you felt more balanced, you felt more aligned with where you were going. With this gibbous moon, you're very close to achieving your goal. I feel like you're on the precipice of a breakthrough. And it's telling you to not give up. Now is not the time to throw in the towel or call it quits. You are so close to achieving movement in the right direction. You even have this cardinal moon asking you to be bold and make the first move. You may have someone in your corner coaching you along, trying to provide you help in attaining your goal here. And you feel so stuck at this moment in time that you're not even pushing forward on it because you're, you're for sure it will fail again. But what's coming towards you is this judgment card. You need to release that energy. The overthinking, the stress that you've been dealing with this. Quit carrying these burdens on your shoulders everywhere you go, especially if this has to deal with work for you. Do not take the frustration of work home. You need to release that negativity. And forgive yourself for allowing less than you were worth. 
and move forward, setting boundaries and not allowing this to happen again. You even have this out of bounds moon with your boundaries. This is asking that you set boundaries and don't let anyone compromise your morals to make themselves look better. In your near future, you have a Two of Cups. For some of you, this may be a new relationship coming in, and this one that has been making you feel really down and out, as if you're not good enough, is going to be moving to your past, and a new, happier, healthier relationship is going to be coming in. For others, I feel like this is you connecting with someone, and finally accepting this help from a partnership. This may be the person that finally helps you see your way forward out of this situation. And even with this yin moon, it's asking you to accept the help. I feel like the help is coming in with this other cup here. This person is going to help you change the situation for the better. Inwardly, you have the Ace of Swords. So this tells me that you have a lot of ideas and you have a lot of things that you want to accomplish in this situation. Whether that's a promotion, that's your long-term goal of being in a relationship and getting married and having a family. Whatever the case is for you, you have a lot of ideas. You're very smart. You know where you want to go. You know what you want to do. And you know what you are worth. In your environment, you have this King of Swords. Now, this could be this person that you've been butting heads with. They may be in your environment. You may live with them. You may work with them. And it's very frustrating to have to be around them all the time. But for others, I feel like with this Ace of Swords and this Two of Cups coming in, this is the person that's coming in to help you. They may have the ability to change the situation, whether this is a new boss coming in or this is someone you meet that finally speaks life into you and helps you realize that you have been accepting less than you were worth and helps you get out of an unhealthy relationship. Whatever the case may be, with this domicile moon, abundance is on the way. So whatever you've been trying to manifest, you are going to get. The abundance here is showing that whether this is love, this is money, this is work, you are going to achieve what you set out to do by accepting the help. In your hopes and fears, you have the Seven of Cups. There may be a lot of options on how to handle this situation. So you've been feeling stuck and indecisive on which path to pursue, whether it's quit your job, find a new job, start your own business. Should I go talk to this person, that person, or this other person? Should I talk to their boss? Should I talk to their boss's boss? You know, whatever the case may be, it has you feeling stuck.
For others, this could be you hoping for more options, better options to deal with this situation. And right now, you may not see it being in this Ten of Swords energy. Feeling hopeless and like it could get no worse. In your overall outcome, you have the Four of Cups. This is asking that you get control over your feelings so you can get that clarity on this situation and you could move forward with new healthier boundaries flipping the script on whoever this is that's making you feel like they're keeping you down to make themselves look better or to make a situation look better than what it actually is on a piece of paper rather than in reality but once you get a hold of your emotions here, you are going to start seeing more clearly and you will find a way forward. Thank you, pile number two, for sitting with me through this reading. If this reading resonated with you or you like this style of reading, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting down below. Thank you and have a beautiful day.